What's good, YouTube? Nappy Boy 92 here, back again, once again. And today, people, today I'm gonna be breaking down the Black Ops 2 Zombies release trailer that came out earlier today. Now I've only seen this once when it came out originally, and now it's three hours later, and I'm watching it now. Right off the bat, we see a deserted town in a fucked up bus. How'd the bus get so fucked up? I mean, it's just zombies, right? The bus stops. Why is the bus stopping? Why are we stopping? This doesn't make any sense. If it's a zombie apocalypse, how the fuck are we stopping? And there are the zombies. As you see, they're in straight jackets, so are we back in Verruckt at a motherfucking mental asylum? Why are their eyes glowing? Do they have, like, Krypton in them or some shit? Oh, shit. We're on the bus getting ready to fuck up the zombies, so we're getting off the bus to fuck up the zombies. As we see, they're not the same characters from the original zombie storyline. We can run over zombies in a motherfucking bus! They're falling off the roof. Goddamn. So now... We're going from place to place, it would seem like. Is this part of a storyline, or is this all part of one map? Do we do something in each area and then move on to the next map? Obviously, the first stop was a, was a diner. Now we're moving on to fucking Skull and Crossbones. It's a barn. Why are we at a barn? That guy had a calculator on his wristwatch. Why do we have a calculator on our wristwatch in Zombies? Think about it. Third stop is a factory. Are we in Doris? We can have riot shields in Zombies now. What the fuck point is that? Can the riot shields block the zombies attack? Maybe! Now the zombies are on fire! They're crawling on the bus! So this means we have to fight zombies while we're on the bus? Are we gonna be on the bus moving in between? We're on top of the bus! I just answered my own fucking question! God damn! Now we're actually in a city. Are we gonna be in like an actual city going from building to building? Obviously, cause they're in the middle of the fucking street! That was intense! I don't think I've cursed that many times in two minutes ever in my life. And what is this? Holy fuck shit, bitch tits! That looks like a wonder weapon. Pre-order now and get the new. Okay, so that was a little extreme, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's just how the traditional breakdown stereotype has been this entire time. But what I want to do now is slow the trailer down and break down everything that happened logistically in it. Um, for those of you who don't know, my history in Zombies is very long and very detailed. Um, the reason that I never posted Zombies on my main channel or in turn this channel is because when I started YouTube, all I had was Windows Movie Maker and a shitty ass laptop. So you try getting a 3-4 hour game of Zombies and editing it in Windows Movie Maker. So yeah, that's why I never played it. But uh, I am decent at Zombies, I'll say. I'm pretty damn good. You can ask some of your, your favorite Zombies YouTubers, you know, MC Sports Talk, Lonely Mailbox, talk to them. Uh, I am rather decent at zombies. I mean, that's what I do, yo. I hated Black Ops multiplayer, so I played zombies. But, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the trailer right now. All right, people, we are gonna break down this trailer logically. You know, I slowed the video down so we can watch it step by step, and you know, get some insight as to what the fuck is going on here. So, initially, right off the bat, we are in the Midwest, I'm gonna assume. I mean, it's it's plains, they're, they're growing wheat or crops or whatever. I mean, Zombies is taking us to a whole different menagerie of places from uh, Germany to Mongolia to the fucking moon. So, we've been everywhere and back. I'm gonna assume since that stop sign said yield, we are in America. I mean, we're, we're in the Midwest somewhere. Next question is, why are we on a bus? What is the reasoning behind us being on the bus? I can tell you right now, I'm going to ask a lot of why questions. Why are we doing this? What is the reasoning behind all the actions in this, in this uh, fucking video here? Why are we on the bus? Why did the bus stop? Obviously, we're at a bus station. I mean, that's, that's kind of awkward. It's kind of odd. Is the bus coming to pick us up? Are we getting on the bus? Is someone coming to pick us up? I mean that's the whole that's the whole question is there is there a NPC a non-playable character that's driving the bus anyways here we are now the zombies have come out they are in straight jackets you heard me mention earlier that our, the last time we saw crazy zombies is at Verruckt are we near some mental asylum in the midwest I mean or or is it just just coincidence that they're in straight jackets who knows here we are with our our new characters there's four new characters obviously you can see from them they're getting off the bus why are we getting off the bus? That's the question. Why are we getting off the bus? Are we getting off the bus at the bus terminal? Or did we already get on the bus at the bus terminal and now we've moved to another location? It didn't show us moving to another location, but we're now suddenly getting off the bus. This is just typical slaughter. I mean, there's some, some new Black Ops 2 weapons being shown there. Now we're moving again. Now we're moving again. That's the odd part. I'm going to pause the video right here. 
and I'm going to take it back just a little bit. This is going to be a bitch to edit because I'm not, I don't have any sort of sync going on here, but I want to take the video back just a little bit because I noticed something right here. After I slow this clip down, you see there's someone driving that bus, which leads me to believe again that's an NPC character. We're not actually controlling that bus. I mean, it'd be cool if we could because then we could smash zombies and shit, but we're not actually controlling that bus. But again, we're moving, so is the bus terminal the first location in this, this storyline of sorts, which, you know, a lot of rumors are going around there was a zombie storyline, which again, why are we going to all these different places? Are we getting something? Or is there something chasing us? Are we chasing something? Why are we going to all these different places? So first we're at a bus terminal. Are we getting on the bus? We don't know yet. Now we're at a diner. What is the connection between a bus terminal and a diner? I'm not I'm, I'm not seeing any connection yet. Like like what is the reasoning between each place? Are we are we picking up different items and shit there? Who knows? Here we go. <clears throat> we're moving on again to a third location. It's it's also unique. Keep in mind all the different emblems that they have on each location. This one is a skull. We're now at a barn. Bus terminal, diner, barn. There's a max ammo drop in the distance there. So traditional drops are, are still back. We're, we're going to assume they're back. We're in a barn. We can, we can be outside the barn and inside the barn at the same time. Now we're moving on to a fourth place. Its emblem is a skull with a knife. This looks like a factory of some sort. Here we have the riot shield. You heard me mention earlier during the, the quick breakdown, is the riot shield, I mean, what's its purpose? Obviously, it's been souped up. Is that a pack-a-punched riot shield? Because I'm assuming a multiplayer riot shields don't have um, fucking concrete blocks on them. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video again right here. As you can see, we're back to the riot shield. It's got a concrete slab on it. Is it a pack-a-punched? Are the riot shields going to deflect hits from the zombies? Who knows? There it appeared as if there was like an electric zombie. If you go back and slow the video down again, I repeat the clip right here and you can see it disappears. It looks like the figure of a being or, or a, a special type of zombie. So are we in a power plant? Are we necessarily in a factory? It looks like we could be in a power plant. You know, in Shangri-La we had the, the fire zombie and the, and the shrieker zombie. Could it possibly on this map we have like an electric zombie? I mean, these are all things you gotta keep in mind. I mean, the thunder and lightning in the background can only hint to it as well. As you see there, the, the ground opened up. Are zombies literally coming from hell? There's a zombie that's on fire. There were zombies that were on fire early in the video too. Do we still have fire zombies or did we set them on fire? Here we are back on the bus again, moving. Obviously, the player is shooting zombies that are ripping boards off the window, so we control the players while we're in the bus. Zombies can come in the bus with us. We can get on top of the bus and shoot zombies crawling up. So again, we're controlling our own players while the bus is moving, so it leads me to believe there is an NPC, a fifth character that we necessarily can't play driving the bus. Here we are at the next and final destination. It marks with a skull and two look, looks like sawn off shotguns. This looks like we finally reached a city, a town of some sort. And it's like we can go from building to building. This looks like the major area that everyone was hinting to originally. There's a lot of motherfucking zombies on the map coming from a lot of different directions. Overall, it looks like the map is pretty damn big. I don't think I missed too much, you know, but everything's open to speculation with these videos, so we'll just have to wait and see until Zombies actually comes out. Oh, and I almost forgot at the very end, this obviously looks like a new wonder weapon of sorts. I mean, you really didn't get to see much from it. I mean, it looks like she was, the female character was holding it, you could tell. It looks like she was revving something. You know, giving it gas, it's got pressure gauges on it and whatnot, so we'll have to wait and see with that one. That didn't really give us too much detail, too much insight as to what it could possibly be. Okay, people, this is the third and final part of this video, this breakdown. You know, I did the initial breakdown, then I slowed it down, and now is the part where we're going to sit and speculate and just, just go over a couple ideas. Because, you know, even if you slow the video down, you're, you're still on some type of schedule. You have to get your ideas out quick enough before the next thing happens. So, I went ahead and grabbed a couple things in no particular order. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of ramble a bit. You know, I'm just going to spill my thoughts on each, each of the, the topics and whatnot. And I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comment section below. If I make any mistakes feel free to correct me you know there's a lot of information that goes along with zombies so you know I, I can't get everything right all at once but first things first I mentioned reasoning 
there has to be some sort of reasoning period why are we doing this why are we on this bus why are we going from place to place to place is each place a different map or is it all one map can you play it all at once or can you choose to play two different things at once um they mentioned that it was going to be 4v4 zombies is it like is it timed like who can get through like all the different areas quickest you know would their team win or whatever another thing that I, that I noticed is on that map that we were traveling around from place to place to place I said once we got to the city it was the final location but but the road kept going on the map I mean obviously that that hints I mean we all know they're gonna have DLC and zombies and whatnot you know additional maps but I mean that could hint to 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 more areas to come my whole thought process in the beginning is, I mean, of course we're in America. Everything's in English. Um, we're we're in the Midwest somewhere. There was a lot of a lot of talk, a lot of speculation about Area Fifty One involving the moon map, and then five with zombies. Uh, the the map five is what I mean. You know, zombies. How they were had all the schematics and everything written down in different launch sites and whatnot. There's there's always been rumors, especially from World at War with radio transmissions and whatnot. There's always been a lot of information to suggest that Area 51 had something to do with zombies. So that could could be a continuation of the storyline, perhaps that could explain how it got to America and in turn spread. Because, like I said before, you know, we've had zombies in Germany, in Asia, on the moon, we've had zombies everywhere. So it's it's no surprise to me that zombies have now sprawled into America. Another unique thing about the map that I noticed was the emblems. I pointed that out before as well. Do the emblems have any significance at all, or am I just shooting in the dark here? I I honestly have no idea. I have no clue. I mean, they all generally consist of a skull for the most part. Most of them have a skull on them. So, I mean, it's like, is there a common trend? Does the skull mark death? I don't know. And it's just it just seemed odd to me that they chose to identify each location like that on the map. You know, each skull had its different items behind it. One had a knife, another one had sawn off shotguns. It just seems odd that they have all these similarities but differences within the similarities at the same time. Another thing that I noticed was there were no rounds. There were no there's there's no number in the bottom left hand corner of the screen of all the first person shots in the trailer now maybe it's because it's the trailer and they just removed it because there's also no ammo count in the guns they're using you know when they're at the power plant it looks like they're shooting with an mp5 but i mean there was no like ammo count at the bottom of the screen there were no grenades none of that stuff either so it could have just been for the trailer but i mean there was no there was no round count on the screen so, could that, again, hint towards an actual storyline, like a single player? Are we racing each other? If, if we were racing each other, wouldn't there be like a clock or a timer on the screen or something? So, I don't know. I think that's all just speculation. I think that there are going to be stuff. All that, the, the HUD is going to be on the screen. It's just for the, the trailer, they removed all of it just to, for, for oohs and ahs and shit, you know. The next immediate thing that you notice... Um, is the new characters. There's four new characters. Two of them, I think, are both wearing green, so they, they're kind of hard to distinguish in the trailer. But there is one part where you see four people moving independently. Um, so there are four new characters. You know, there's the female, there's the geeky guy, and then the, the two guys wearing green. Um, who are they? How did they all come together? And then there, there's, there's constant instances throughout the trailer, and then even the, the pre-order zombies poster had the girl on it, the female. Why are they pushing the female so much? Why does she have so much significance? Could the female be Samantha? I mean, that's kind of a stretch in and of itself. You know, Samantha now has a physical form, but I mean, could Samantha be embodying this female? You know, again, why are they placing so much emphasis on this female character? I mean, if you, even even at the end of the trailer, when they introduce that new weapon, which we're going to assume is a wonder weapon, I mean, I'll talk about that in a minute, but I mean, she's holding it. Why her, out of all four of those people, did they choose to, why did they choose to highlight her so many different times in the video? And then in turn, in promotion with the posters and whatnot. So, it's just, it's really, really odd that they're just pushing her so much. The Wonder Weapon itself, I mean, we don't know if it's a Wonder Weapon or not. You know, you only get to see certain things with it. But one thing I did notice, she was holding it with two hands, like a death machine. She was holding it with two hands, which leads me to believe that it's not something that you get out of the box. Because, I, mean, I mean, 
technically you hold it with two hands, but when I mean like two hands with a death machine, you couldn't swap weapons. That's what I mean. That's the that's what I'm getting at. So is it really like a weapon that you get out of the box, or is it a drop that you pick up? Is it something that you're is it something that you're building? You know, again, there's that whole reasoning. Why are we going from place to place to place to place? You know, we picked up all these different things. Are we building this weapon? Is this weapon going to lead us to another part in the storyline? Is it going to kill all the zombies? Is it going to save the world? You know, <laughs> you know, we could go for, on forever and ever and ever. Or it could just simply be a weapon out of the box. I could be thinking too much into it. It could just be something out of the box. But again, she was holding it with two hands. You know, it looked kind of heavy. She was holding it with two hands. Is that, is, is the weapon what's causing all the zombies to be lit on fire? Because, I mean, right before they showed that, you know, they showed all this this whole horde of zombies coming at her, or we can assume they were running at her, and most of them were on fire. So had she been shooting at them already? And, I mean, the whole thing that, that supports the whole fire idea is it, the, it's got pressure gauges on it. You know, there's some type of, like, flammable tanks on the back end of it that, that shoot fire out. My guess is that's a wonder weapon. Obviously, it's two hands, and I don't know, maybe it shoots fire. We don't know. We have to wait and see. That's my guess with the Wonder Weapon. So far, we've only seen one Wonder Weapon. We've seen a whole bunch of other um, regular guns and whatnot from multiplayer. But, I mean, that's really the only hint that we have towards any sort of special weapon. We didn't even see a ray gun in this one. The traditional trusty old ray gun that you've always had in Zombies didn't even make an appearance in this video. Is the ray gun still in Zombies? Honestly, I couldn't picture Zombies without a ray gun. But, I mean, they didn't highlight it at all. The next thing that I found really, 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 really interesting. They did highlight a max ammo in the trailer, which which continues the whole trend that there are drops. You know, there have been drops on all the other zombies, so there's max ammo. Are there going to be new drops? Are they going to bring the traditional max ammo, insta-kill, nuke, all that back? Max ammo is the only one that's been confirmed so far. Second thing that I, I noticed a lack of in the trailer there were no perk machines. They didn't highlight any perk machines. I'm not saying that there aren't any perk machines or they're not going to be, but I mean, in the trailer, they didn't highlight any at all. Normally, if there's something new, you know, if, there, if there's going to be a new perk or, or a new gun like they highlighted the Wonder Weapon, they would, they would emphasize it. They would show it off in the trailer. They didn't show us a single perk in the trailer. I mean, I didn't see one. If you guys saw one, you know, leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know. But, I mean, I didn't see any perks at all highlighted. You know, I tried to, even when I slowed the video down, I tried to look around, you know, around the room. And when they were in the diner or when they were in the terminal or when they were in the barn. Even even the, um, the, the factory, the power plant. I still didn't see any perks at all. Which is odd. So, speaking of the power plant, that's another interesting thing. When the bus pulls into the bus terminal, and, and every place you go, the power is already on. There are signs lit up. So is the whole element of turning the power on just canceled out? Do we not have to turn the power on any longer? Or is the power already on? Or are we traveling to the power plant to turn the power on? Because if you notice, when they slowed the clip down, you know, when they were behind the riot shields, you know, they had a whole bunch of, like, power generators or whatever laying on the floor next to them. Or, or uh, below them, they were suspended on like a catwalk or something. They had a whole bunch of power generators there. So are we traveling to the power plant to turn the power on for the area? You know, for the for the city or, or the, the towns that we're going? You know, I mean, that's, that's an interesting question. Because again, once we got to the power plant, I slowed the clip down multiple times. You saw it just like I did. There seemed to be a form of a zombie, of a being, of a human form within that burst of electricity that you saw. So that, again, that leads all of us to believe that they're going to have a new type of special zombie. I don't know if it's just going to be at the power plant or if they're going to be at all the different locations on the map. But, I mean, obviously there's some type of static or electric zombie. That's kind of awkward. I don't know how we're going to kill an electric zombie with traditional weapons. But, I mean, that's... You look at the video. I mean, look at the video. It's obviously in the shape of, of a zombie. In conclusion, I think I covered pretty much everything that I can think of right now off the top of my head. Um, as with most videos where you try to cover everything, I'll probably end up rendering this out and posting it and then catching something and being pissed as all <laughs> hell because I missed it in the video. But uh, I think I covered pretty much everything. If you guys see anything else 
if uh, I, I happen to, to miss anything, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I am a huge fan of zombies, and to be 100% blunt and honest with you, the trailer didn't really impress me that much. I wasn't really blown away with it. It stirred up a lot of questions, don't get me wrong, but um, am I really blown away with it? No. it's They really didn't showcase a whole lot. Like I said, there was no additional drops outside of Max Ammo, you know, one that we already know. They didn't showcase any new perks outside of a few glimpses of the the Wonder Weapon. There was really no new, there was no hint of any new guns at all. Um, outside of just revealing the characters and the fact that we're on the bus going from location to location, there really was no, no new information displayed. It's zombies, it's guns, we gotta kill them. The reasoning behind all of us being let down from the clip is because, you know, it's through that traditional Call of Duty that Call of Duty mindset, we all get so hyped for the new Call of Duty. This year, it happens to be zombies. We get so hyped. Our expectations are set so high that anything short of God's jizz on a disc, you know, uh, pardon, pardon my language. I don't want to be so vulgar, but anything short of God's jizz on a disc, you know, is it's it's just going to be a disappointment to us. So I think that's our, that's our own faults. I think that zombies is going to be decent, but I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm sure that they're going to release more information, more screenshots, more everything. Shit's going to get leaked and posts and everything. And I'm sure there are a few bigger YouTubers out there that already know everything about zombies already. And we're just, we're just puppets in their game. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to wait until everything is finally revealed to... Uh, figure everything out about zombies but like i said i'm hopeful i'm optimistic for it let me know what you guys thoughts are in the comment section below i hope you all enjoyed the breakdown i know it's been a, a long video but like i said i like zombies i'm passionate about it and this year i'm gonna throw my motherfucking hat into the zombies ring you know i got a brand new computer this time um like I said, I couldn't do it when I started YouTube before because all I had was a shitty-ass laptop Windows Movie Maker. But this time around, I'm stepping my game up. There's a new motherfucking zombie player in town. His name's Nappy Boy 92 I'm going to fuck all y'all bitches up. So just, just be ready for it. <laughs> for those of you that subscribe to this channel for Let's Plays and whatnot, do not worry. This is not going to become a Call of Duty channel. The only thing I'm going to post on this channel from Call of Duty is zombies. I'm done with Call of Duty multiplayer. I'm not posting multiplayer videos, gameplay commentaries, not doing that. Zombies is going to be the only thing on this channel. I started this channel with the, the inclination of posting whatever I play. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be playing the fuck out of some zombies, so just expect it. So, if that's not your cup of tea, I apologize. If it is and you're hyped like I am, then let's get ready for it. But... Anyways, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. You know me, YouTube, Nampo92. Uh, I'm out.